This is the first time mass-produced electric cars have been used on African streets. And the catalyst for this potentially world-changing event? The 2011 United Nations Climate Change Conference in Durban, South Africa. The fleet of zero-emission Nissan and Renault vehicles is being used to shuttle delegates to and from the conference. Well, we're here to demonstrate that zero-emission vehicles are a real and affordable solution for reducing CO2 emissions. These cars are also extremely easy to use and extremely easy to recharge. In fact, with an EV, you will never need to go to a gasoline station ever again. Uh, you can simply recharge from the comfort of your own home. This 17th conference on climate change aims to stabilize greenhouse gas concentrations at a level that will prevent dangerous human interference with the climate system. A aim that could be considerably helped by the wider acceptance and use of zero emission vehicles such as the Nissan Leaf due in South Africa in 2013, or Renault's new Fluence, two of the most affordable zero emission cars ever produced. Awesome, awesome car, smooth, no lag, everything you want in a car. South Africa has set its sights on being the continent's leader in clean energy generation, with ambitious plans for one of the world's biggest solar power plants. Electric vehicles could also be a big part of South Africa's low emissions future. Climate change is a global issue and South Africa, like other countries, is working to reduce its CO2 footprint. Our cars are 100% electric, which means that they're zero emission and neutral to the environment. These cars can also be charged using various renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power. And therefore, this is a great opportunity for South Africa to reduce its uh, CO2 footprint. And so one of the things we did was modeled what the impact of electric vehicles were. And even if we look at electric vehicles in a coal-fired grid, there is a carbon saving. Simply because, I mean, the energy is being developed right at the point where the vehicle is, is, is actually operating. And um, it also means that you can charge your, your electric vehicle at off-peak times, which means that you can balance your load, which means that your, your, even if they're coal-fired power stations, they're running evenly, which is far more energy efficient. And we found that there's a, a massive in, uh, decrease in carbon emissions just by looking at electric vehicles.